Then I, then I have to determine what type of wire to get for this. And most of the time, electrical outlets are on 15 amp circuits. And I don't know if you saw my other video or not. It's, I'm, I ran a separate video and you might want to watch that one. It was showing how to make a material list for a project and it was a ceiling fan in, in, in mother's room. And we came back out here, but if you didn't see that, we're gonna look at this real quick. Here's an electrical panel. And here's 20, these are 20 amp circuits with the two. See? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. These are, this, that means it's a twin breaker. There's two breakers right here in this one location. Isn't that cool? Because most of the time you'll see a fat breaker there, which is only for one circuit, let's say. These are twin, these are called twins. And there's two circuits here, two circuits there, as opposed to just one. Now see, these, these just say one five. See that? These are 15 amp circuits, these are one fives. These are all 15 amp circuits. When I, when I looked at those before, usually you'll see a little panel schedule. Usually it's attached onto an electrical panel somewhere. And uh, sometimes you, you can't, if you don't have it, then you just have to figure it out a different way. But because we have this, we're gonna look at these. This is bath hall downstairs exercise. That's lights. Here's exercise plugs, which means electrical outlets. Here's one for lights, lights, plugs, plugs, uh, GFI laundry, uh, garage GFI. And the other ones are lights, okay? So, so that, what does that tell me? That tells me most of the circuits, and we're down, we're downstairs, and so it's probably gonna be uh, rec room, exercise plugs, hall, uh, or bath hall downstairs, no, it's not that, probably rec room, exercise plugs, probably that one. Rec room plugs, see there's two of them, exercise plugs, rec room plugs. And so one of those circuits, those, but either way, those are all 15 amp circuits. And that's 14 gauge, 14 gauge wire as opposed to 12 gauge wire. And so I, I know that it's gonna be 14 gauge wire. Wherever these electrical exterior, uh, electrical outlets are, and as well as the interior electrical outlets, I know it's 14 gauge wire. I just happen to have a little piece here. Funny, funny that. Just happen to have a piece. Isn't that unusual? That's, that's just a lucky thing, huh? And this is called 14 gauge wire, 14, and it's called cabling, it's sheathed cable, meaning an outside plastic sheathing over a sheathed cable that has three wires in it, and the three wires all right, white wire, a black wire, and a ground wire. And this is 14 gauge. It's called 14-2 with ground, this cable. Meaning there's two wires, which is 14 gauge. And then there's a ground wire that doesn't have any sheathing or plastic coating over it. It's just separate. So it's 14-2, 14 14-2, 14 two, two wires, 14 gauge, with ground. The ground wire is bare copper. There's copper in both of these other ones, hot wire, neutral wire, and a ground wire. And so that's, that's going to be what I'm going to end up using for this particular project. When I go to, and, and so I'll have, to, I'll have to do a little figuring out. If you're unsure, you can pull out, you can pull out an electrical outlet. You first have to turn the power off, pull it out, and have a little piece of the 14 gauge wire, have a little piece of 20 gauge wire, or, or what have you. No, just just turn off. Once you find out which circuit this is, turn, uh, put a light on it, have a drill on it, put an extension cord on it, whatever, and find the associated breaker in your panel. And if it's a 15 amp breaker, then you know you can use 14 gauge wire. If it's on a 20 amp breaker, then you've got to get a 12 gauge wire and it looks just like this except it's 12 gauge, which is a little bit fatter, a little bit thicker than these wires, okay? 
And it's still going to be like this, black, white with the ground. 12-2 with ground it's called. Or this is 14-2 with ground. Okay? Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And I'm looking forward to this project. I hope you are too. Keep watching my channel.